the hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, its colors, its length, whether he dyed his hair or not, whether there were any gray hair, there were some, on what sides of his head, and uh, how many, how much gray hair, when did it grow, all of a sudden or gradually, did he have any braids of his hair, did he let them behind or in the front, did he part his hair, did he apply oil on his hair, the beard, how thick it was, how tall it was, was there any gray hair, where, how many hairs were there, his eyebrows, how thick, did they meet in the middle, or not, his eyelashes, how tall, the color, then his forehead, the size of it, the color, his face, his head, the size of his head, the shape of his head, the shape of his face, his eyes, the shape of his eyes, the color of his eyes, his pupils, his nose, the shape of his nose, his lips, his mouth, the size, the thickness or thinness of his lips, his teeth, the earlobes, the ears, all recorded, documented in details. There's no one single human being of whom we have so much detailed description. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is described to us in detail. All you need is to go and read his description. People get attached to movie stars, to superstars now. One of the most important probably principles or conditions of appearing on TV is to have a handsome face, a beautiful face. People are attached to images. If people are attached to images and are superficial and they just get around the forms, then they must love Rasulullah and find every reason to love the Messenger of Allah because he was the most beautiful and handsome human being on the face of the earth ever to exist in the past and ever to be in the future. Imam al